All right. So leave it to me. What I'll do now, yeah, just to put you in the picture, I'm going to make the eye black again, just as we did with the adult one, like that. And then we'll put the white in there. There and there and there. And I can do that off camera. And then what I'll do then, and I'll bring you back in to show you, I'll come in with the grey, which is the base colour for this. Now that white that I've got on the end, I'll probably leave that there because it gives me the separation between baby and the adult. And I'm not much of this and here we go and that will then join into there. And I'll do that with all of the applications 181, 157 and black in there. So watch as I go through and I'll, I'll, I'll bring you back if I need to explain anything to you but it's basically a, a mini version of mum. And now, the all-important light tones. Now, on this particular baby, we have a light that comes down here. So, I'm going to use a white for this. And it comes right down and fizzles out there. Right. Uh, a little bit of stronger white. Just there. Good. And then the grey. Now the grey comes all the way down and just right on the edge like that. And it comes in like that. And just like the adult, it fades out when it gets to about there. That's fine. And there's just a little more strength needed just in here. I'm using black for that. It's not really very... See if I can make it a little brighter with the grey. Mm, not really. Well, I'll sharpen my white up in a minute and we'll, we'll see if we can make it a little stronger than that. Anyway, back to the grey. Now we put the grey on here. Let's put just a little more and fade it like that. Now this particular marking here is a bit unusual. These are obvious, but that one on the baby for some reason is darker or f faded should I say so what I'm going to do is put the grey on and then this has already got the black on and I'm going to put that on top and what will happen 
is it will be a fate. It won't disappear altogether because we've got the white underneath it. But it fades like that. Now that's not bad. That's not far away. But I just want to make it just a little more obvious. So I'm going to put more white on. Following the same idea as before. As a faded. Now I don't know why that should be. But there it is. Now the an exception to that rule is just there. Where we have the faded or the lighter area there, we also have a lighter area on the white. So, but the bottom stays faded. Now that makes more sense when I finish this off. This comes into there and almost disappears. Like that. Now on the other side, we've got a similar situation faded and graduated out when it gets to there and I'll show you all of this because it's not going to take very long when it gets to there. Now there's only one exception and that's just there. It has a nice little like a step like that. Now everywhere else do I need any more? I think I'll probably make it just a little lighter in this area. Now I'll finish that off in a minute, but what I also wanted to show you is down here, we have the same situation. We've got a little bit of strength. I'm putting no gray in here. Together with, if you remember, we were using 102. And that can be faded. Um, now the thing is, I want to use the, I want to use this one again. Uh, I can't use that. Yes, I can. You've got to get rid of all of that, unless you've got two of these, which I have, but I'm not going to show off. I'm going to clean it because that's what you'd have to do. Get it as clean as you can. There you go. People have asked me, do you wash them, Colin? Neighbor? No, I don't. I haven't washed this since I started, and that was a while ago now. You can get rid of it by just rubbing it off with your finger, like that. And that can then be faded. And it's just a little bit more obvious that it's a... Oh, now, that's the danger, folks. If you touch any of the black, it's going to come off. Right, I just have to put a quick repair job there. Now, all, well, all of them have got to be the same, done the same way. So let's put a little more in here. Little 102. Faded, and that can come back up so it doesn't become too rigid. In fact, I think we need a bit of help there, like that. Redo the black. Great. 
great. Now, having done that, you know, I'm just wondering whether I can actually make that do the same thing here. In other words, take just a little bit of the colour from the animal and put it in there. Now, that looks awful, doesn't it? But you can work it so that it becomes a shadow. Like that. I like that. I might repeat that in areas on the adult. We'll be careful down here because there's not a lot of room. But I could do it here. Let's see what we can do here. I think that's rather nice. And we can always add, we can add a little bit of white, we can also add some of the 102, like that. And just to make sure we've got a nice contrast, just a little bit of black on the edge. Well, there we are. Now I need to do a little bit of work on here. Let's just bring that back down there. I'm going to lighten that off a little. Um, I might try with a bit of white there. Pick it up. With a two thirty. No, it's not bad. The only thing I think we ought to do is make that just a little more obvious. It's a marking. Just use the white very lightly. Just to suggest it. There we are. 